Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, as well as their elders. Um, great millstone. Okay, and peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect. All right. I uh, just wanted to do a quick lesson going into a hitting on the importance of the name or the names of the Most High and His Son. All right. Uh, as we all know, there's certain other individuals or groups, uh, if you will, that's uh, saying that the names of the Lord and His, uh, well, the names of the Most High and, and, and His Son doesn't matter. All right, we can we can call the Lord Yo Play Yo Play Yogurt, uh, all kind of you know madness, man. Some even still just say Christ. All right, uh, right, uh, and basically make light of knowing the, the true names. All right, or look down upon knowing the names, man. And some even all right all out. Don't believe in worshiping Yahweh Shah altogether. All right. Which that's completely going off. Because without, hey man, without Yahweh Shah, all right, we'd all be done, man. Okay. You see? But, uh, hey, which that could uh, be another lesson in itself. All right. Um, but I just wanted to, to hit the point on, uh, knowing the name, you know. But, uh, this is, uh, this is the book of John 14. Uh, I was going to start up a little, a little further up, but I'm going to just get straight to the point. This is John 14 and 13, and this is the Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. All right. So it says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Okay. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Okay right you know now we understand or should understand we we can't we no longer have direct access to Yahweh power all right which of course Yahweh is the name of the most high all right we have to go through uh Yahweh Shai all right Yahweh Shai which that's the net the son or the name of the son of the most high all right if you ask anything in my name Okay, so we have to go through Yahweh Shah. He is that mediator between us and the Most High Power. All right, you see, for uh, first and foremost. All right, so uh, I'll grab the precept to that just to hit that point real quick. All right, this is First Timothy chapter two and verse five. For there is one power. And one mediator between uh, the Most High men, the man Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Okay, so he's the uh, Yahweh Shah is the mediator. All right. When we send up prayers, we ask in the name of Yahweh. Well, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. All right, in the name of Yahweh Shah. Okay. You see, the scriptures also says that he sends our petitions to the uh, uh, Heavenly Father, you know, uh, right? So, for anybody to say that, you know, we can go directly to the Most High, that's, that's off, you know, or say that, you know, we don't have to uh, worship uh, Yahweh Shah, okay? That's, that's going off, man, all right? But going back to John 14, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Okay, so yes, you have to know the names, man. All right. When you saying when you praying to the Lord, all right, why wouldn't you want to, all right, why wouldn't you want to know the correct name? Okay, you can't sit up there and, and so-called pray to the Lord, but call on the wrong name. Okay. Yo, your prayer is not going to be heard, man. All right? And in the, in, the, in the worldly sense as well, just to make a point, if your name was John and somebody was yelling out, Steve, Steve, are you going to turn around and look? No, because why? That's not your name. All right? 
You see what I'm saying? So how much more so with your how about show me how a shot, man? All right. But the point is, uh, you have to know the name, man. All right. Uh, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, okay. It didn't, and that's uh, it doesn't it says whatever ye shall ask or whatever you want to call me, you know, or or it doesn't say names with a you know in a plural sense. All right. As in multiple multiple names, okay. It says in my name, all right. You see, now this is uh the book of Acts, chapter 2 and 21. It says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, all right. So Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, so what is that name? The name is Yahweh Shah. All right, and a couple of points, right? Because of course, this this uh, verse in this uh, in this uh, chapter is uh, you know broken down wrong in the in the in the world. All right. Um, you see, they love to use this verse in particular to say that everybody can be saved, whoever calls on Jesus, right? Um, but that's, that's going off, all right? You see, whosoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 22, ye men of Israel, all right? So this is what... The scripture is pertaining to all right the nation of Israel. Okay, now the nation of Israel consists of uh, which would be known today as the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, the descendants of uh, uh, from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, you see. So that that cuts that. All right. That any and everybody can just call on the name and can be delivered, right? So, knowing the true name is Yahweh Shah, right? And uh, another point as well, just because you were Israelite, right, and call on the name, that still does, doesn't mean that, you can, that you're going to automatically be saved either, all right? Because not all of Israel will be saved on this side, according to uh, prophecy, all right according to the scriptures as it is written all right even those amongst israel two-thirds uh rather you know are not going to make it okay and some of them may know the name all right even the lord yahweh Shah said it he, uh, himself uh there's there's going to be those uh that's going to say call or uh, say lord lord have i not prophesied in thy name but i have not known you Okay, loosely paraphrasing. All right, you see. Um, or you may have those that that uh, yeah, they call on the name, but they they not walking this life. You know, they not walking in the, in the conversation of, of godliness. And all right, according to this word, okay, they they still walking in a uh, in a worldly conversation. You know, going off. All right, you see. Just to add that as well, all right. But once again, the point is, okay, the night, the the important importance of knowing the name, all right. Just a few more scriptures, and I'm uh I'm gonna close out, all right. All right, this is uh Proverbs thirty, and I'm gonna start at four. It says, "Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended?" Who had gathered the wind in his fist? Who had bound the waters in a garment? Who had established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Okay. Right. So we, we know the answer. Okay. 
the correct names, all right? Who who was that uh that done all those things is the most high power uh which is his, which his name is Yahweh. Okay? I am or he is. All right? You see? And his son, his son's name is uh Yahweh Shah. Okay? You know? Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Okay? Um, I'm going to grab another scripture here. All right. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Lord, uh, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, uh, is a strong tower. And the righteous run it into it and it's safe. All right. So, yeah. Okay. The righteous are going to call on the, on those names. All right. You see, the righteous, you know, hey, understands that hey, that's our strength. Calling upon the names. All right. When we, you know, when we going through adversities, when we, uh, you know, put up curses, you know, uh, you see, that's those are the names, man. All right, and and the, and the uh, those names are uh, powerful. Okay, especially in the in, when we say it's in the in the Hebrew tongue. Okay, the correct names in the Hebrew tongue, man. All right. You see, if you if you uh doing um uh, you know if you walking up right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, then hey, that's that's you know our protection, our strength. All right, you see. Um, once again, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. Okay, so hey, if anybody that's saying that hey, we don't need to know the names or or, the, or it doesn't matter. All right, or you going off, going by. A different name, you know, uh, uh, or whatever, you know. Then hey, that's you know, it's obvious, you know, that there's no light in in those individuals, man. Okay, you see, but the righteous run it into it and it's safe. All right, the righteous are gonna call upon the names, praise the the uh. Yeah, the most high power in the sun, man. All right. Yahweh Ba Shum, Yahweh Shah. All right. You see? So, um, that's the point. All right. This was just going to get, you know, this was going to be a straight to the point lesson. Okay. But yes, the, you know, the names are important, man. All right. You see? So, uh, I'm going to end there. Okay, and to the next one, shallow one.